After 29 visits to the show, we're now making it official. Please welcome to the table, Alyssa Farah Griffin. to the club. Thank you. I am so excited. Oh. It's I mean, it's just an it's an honor. There's no other word for it. This show is iconic. It is I mean, it spanned 25 seasons for a reason. People it resonates with people. And what I was actually really struck by because I've been kind of reading up on who our viewers are and trying to get a sense and I'm a longtime viewer. It's not just what you think. It's I mean, it's young women, it's young men, it's older women, it's older men. It's all over the map, all over the socioeconomic spectrum. So I love that about the table. We represent like every viewpoint imaginable. Plus it's fun. <laughs> if anyone had ever told me I'd be sitting at a table with Whoopi Goldberg, I would have said, you are crazy. <laughs> it is such an honor to be with you ladies every day on this set. Is there one co-host though that kind of intimidates you a little bit? So it's funny. I came in most afraid of Joy, uh -huh. but actually I, I think, mean, um, and, and you're not <laughs> Going to. Joy, she's an icon. Yes. But the thing with Joy is she's so funny that yeah. when she does really come after you, she ends with humor, right. which is the best. Yeah, um, a, a cut that's kind of like a tickle. It, it, exactly. I'm like, I'm like, I can deal with that. And Sunny is someone who I, I adore her because she's brilliant. She's prepared and like you are not going to get by just doing talking points and thinking that she's not going to come back at you right. with like a whole list of receipts. So they're, they've both been intimidating, but excellent to work with. And I think iron sharpens iron. Like mm -hmm. they're... I'd rather be debating really smart people because yeah. I think it makes me better and more informed in my viewpoints. I'm here to just join this table, hopefully bring a different perspective, <laughs> and I'm so excited for it. I'm ready for it. Your viewpoint is a little bit more on the conservative side, so how are you hoping that your point of view will help folks, you know, the political stances being uh, laid out there on the table at the, at the round table? I really want to give a voice to the tens of millions of Americans who do lean right of center. Um, you know, I've spoken out against the former president, but 70 million Americans voted for him. And not, many of those people are patriotic, decent Americans who just want something a little different than what they're seeing in Washington. So I'm yeah. hoping I could represent those Americans, a lot of the middle of the country too, that often feels like their voices aren't heard. Um, and listen, I'm confident in my positions. I've worked in Republican politics for longer than I'd like to admit. So um, it's going to get sporty. It's going to get feisty. Right. But I also am someone who likes to disagree respectfully. I adore these women. Yeah. So hopefully that comes across. The last couple of years have been a bit turbulent for me. I worked for an administration that I ended up speaking out against fervently and continue to daily. That changes a lot in your life. I lost a lot of friends. I'm estranged from family members. What do you say to those viewers that just because you are formerly associated with our former President Trump. What do you say to those people that have already made up their mind about you? I would say take some time to get to know me. Um, I think all people, A, are works in progress, but beyond that, we can be really reductive about how we look at people in public life. I think as they see my heart, they see my beliefs, they see the nuance behind what I'm fighting for and advocating for, they'll realize that I think there's more we can find common ground on than disagree in. So I'd say, give me a chance, wait and see. I think they're gonna grow to, I'm sure many still disagree with me, but at least hopefully respect me. If there's one thing I believe, it's that there's more that unites this country than divides it. And I think that we can demonstrate at this table what our elected leaders often can't. Did you reach out to any former co-hosts that were more of the conservative side? I did, I did. I had a fabulous conversation actually yesterday with Elizabeth Hasselbeck. She was just a doll and a dream. I was a huge fan of hers, I mean, 10 years ago when she was yeah. on the show. And she was 25 when she started. So I was like, girl, I am proud of you because I could not have done this at 25 and she had great advice she said the team is amazing lean on them lean on the women invest in the relationships off screen and then you know bring the sport to the table and you'll enjoy it so I really appreciated that 